Right, we've got evening three of defending David Cameron. And this evening I'm going to talk, take a look at uh, zero hour contracts, because I was talking to someone about them earlier. Now I know, personally, that David Cameron does not like zero hour contracts. He didn't phone me and tell me, he just talked about it in a conservative conference when I saw it on the telly. But he did say it, he was in a conference and he was speaking and it was a speech and he never lies. So anyway, you can guarantee David Cameron has done some bloody good work in this administration on zero hour contracts. We can guarantee it. Listen to these numbers now, because I found a few on the internet. Now, in 2013, October to December, 586,000 people on zero hour contracts. 1.9% of the workforce. Same period, 2014, that's 697,000 people on zero hour contracts. Okay, that's gone up a bit. Okay, now that represented only 2.3% oh, of the workforce. Okay, so that's gone up as well. So they've gone up by, what is that? That's 18% increase in numbers and then 21% increase. Yeah, 21% increase in respect of the percentage of the workforce. Now, some people would say, oh, those are bad numbers, terrible numbers. But I'd say, look, if you've got a 21% pay rise, you'd be happy, right? Yeah? And anyway, if you think about this, 18% and 21% is not really that much. You spend a third of your life, there's 33% asleep. Nobody complains about that. Plus, if you take a look at zero hour contracts the other way, right? Zero hour contracts mean that, yes, you have a job, but you don't have to work. Not all the time, anyway. That sounds a bit like the sort of House of Parliament, doesn't it? You know, for some people. I know some people treat it like that. Or it could be the case that you go to work, then just say, right, go home. There's nothing to do. In which case, that's how the House of Lords gets treated in by some people. Yeah, in which case, I think what David Cameron is doing is allowing all these increased hours in zero hour contracts so people can prepare for a life in government. That means he's actually encouraging competition, right? This means that David Cameron does not fear your opposition in government. The man as balls of steel, balls of something stronger than steel. Because Superman was man of steel, he's got man of balls of titanium, yes. So David Cameron, zero contracts, sterling work once again, even though the numbers are going up, it's all an illusion, they're just stats, don't mean anything, and he's got titanium balls. Well done, Dave.